Nirmala Sitaraman of the BJP Swapan Das Gupta senior journalist Gagan Sethi has been with the NSE in the past he's from Ahmedabad chairperson of the Jan Vikas and Center for Social Justice Vinod Mehta editorial chairman of Outlook Kamal Faruqi uh, national secretary of the Samajwadi party my first question is to Swaminathan Iyer who joins me in the studio uh, Swami do you think Aruna Roy has uh, resigned because there is a growing divide between the Congress party and the government in a pre-election year. No, no. No, you don't think so? All that's happened was that for a long time, for three years, Aruna Roy had Sonia Zia and Manmohan didn't. No, she doesn't have Sonia Zia now. She doesn't have it now. Why do, you, she's, why she's, do you say she doesn't have it now? She's interpreting herself as being with the, with the people. The truth is, she's putting forward this growth versus poverty debate, yeah. which is an old, sterile and completely bogus one. We went through the Garibi Hatao phase, when the suppose growth didn't matter, only Garibi Hatao matter, all those programs. Yeah. I'm sorry, the number of poor people doubled. We've had the fastest growth of poverty reduction between 2004-2009 when taken. the growth was fastest. No, all I'm saying is she's coming out with the same old left-wing nostrums which are simply untrue. The truth is that Sonia Gandhi did listen to her for three years yeah. and she can't stand the fact that Sonia Gandhi is not listening to her. To say that you're the saying, government... You're saying people like Aruna Roy have become uh, maybe uh, intellectually... Megalomaniac. In, intellectu in megalomaniac. And, sir, she's, look, she had a very clear idea that they are the saviors of the country. I would argue the policies they are following are very bad. I would argue the policies they are following, far from saving people, will worsen the situation. In the last two years, economic growth has fallen to almost yes, half yes. the rate. For her to say the government is obsessed with growth, yeah. I feel like laughing aloud. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I can't I, you uh, see any facts. You see, it's the, the other way around. You see, because this, the government was obsessed the, with the kind of schemes Aruna Roy had yes, in mind. Yes. Therefore, growth got neglected. We got to a situation where there was virtually a downgrade. Yes. Suddenly, the Congress realizes you are going to lose the election unless you change. No, but who created this structure? Let's get Swapan Das Gupta in. Who created the structure? This, you know, you are saying no political overtones, Swami Nathanayar. You know, I, I, I beg to disagree. The fact of the matter is the NSC is headed by Sonia Gandhi. There are obvious and direct political overtones to this group. There's a, there, there has been questions of a conflict of interest in the past. And this group has been unable to run over the government in the last year before the elections. Swapan Das Gupta, does this prove, Mr. Das Gupta, that this whole dual power center theory is now beginning to go horribly wrong? No, no, I don't think it proves that. I think it's, it's got a lot to do with the temperament, the personality, and the orientation of those who constitute members of the NAC and what they see are their priorities and the importance which they attach to themselves. Now, I think here was a classic case. I think Aruna Roy, in the brief snatches of the interview I managed to hear, uh, yes. which you did with her, yes. was quite clear that it was an advisory council. Now we have business advisory council, we have a national security advisory board, we have various things. None of those people, to my mind, fly off the handle. None of those people make a public proclamation that you know, the, you know a small minority is somehow influencing the government, etc. What I think here was a case of some individuals who believe that what they say actually must make up policy. And there I agree with Swami. They have arrogated to themselves the role and the voice of the people. So they equate themselves to the real voice of what India is about. But they've been allowed to, Mr. Das Gupta. That they've been, they've fundamental, been implicit, implicit arrogance. Of course they've been allowed the, I remember a because case. Because they were fulfilling a certain agenda. No, how they have they stopped fulfilling that agenda, agenda now, Mr. This das Gupta? Agenda, no, they are, they are fulfilling the agenda because the, because the economy is no longer able to sustain ah, such so an agenda. So the party is over. It's a simple question as that. So it's, the a question, it's, it's the party is over. You are likely to get in the next quarter a growth rate which is likely to come down below 5. In that sort of a situation, a profligate spending 
NREGA, you're not concerned about what the leakages are. No, you're but not then, concerned but then about whether I, I understand. one, I, no, one no. size fits all. Is but, but, Mr. You Mr. Want, you want more, 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 and you go on. No, no, Mr. And Dasgupta. You, and you've not only gone in for social agenda, you've I, gone in for things like the communal but, but, violence, yeah, bill, yeah. which actually segregates two types of people. No, no. So you decide that you are the parliament. No, no, Mr. Dasgupta. Das she in her letter. But Mr. Dasgupta. No, no, she in her letter says it's been needlessly delayed. Yes. But Mr. Dasgupta, however, 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 yeah. I, I, by the way, Mr. Dasgupta, uh, uh, you know, you and Swaminathan Nayar have perfectly laid the tone of the debate. But I, I beg to disagree with both of you. Because what you're forgetting, and I want to get our third panelist is this, that this is political. And, and, and I remember Manishankar Raya's comment where he said the NAC will court, court institutionalize. No, 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 no. It's what I'm political. saying, no, no, because you did, you, 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 you said no or no. I don't agree with this business of dual power centers. My view is the Manishankar Raya no, no, said. But you the, play, you're, you're saying. I'm looking at it through a prism, Mr. Dasko. That's all. I'm, not, I, I'm, I'm looking at it through boil the prism. Down to a Sonia Gandhi versus Manmohan. No, 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 no. I'm not. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not doing that. I, I'm not. I'm not naive enough to do that. What I'm saying is, Manishankar Ayer said, and he said, I quote, the NAC will institutionalize the party's influence over the government. That is what he had said. So yeah, it indicated but, but, what the Congress president but could not do. But the said the other thing. Yeah, so, no, th therefore, I, it's right of me to ask that today Aruna Roy, who was seen to be the mascot of this, uh, you know, the, the pa pa hold the pa party has over the government has resigned. It's a big development. A and therefore, the question is, this whole dual power center yeah. is falling apart. One person who backs the idea of an NAC is joining me. Gagan Sethi is joining me from Ahmedabad. On this, the whole NSC is falling apart, Gagan Sethi, not just Aruna Roy. The whole structure is falling apart, no, isn't no, it? I, I, it's, 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 I think it's the, this is the problem of the UPA government where it has been showing a schizophrenia uh -huh. of one on one hand wanting to develop and strengthen grassroots democracy, on the other hand being controlled and led by whiz kids who want to manage economies and and run the governance through through whiskey methods. Which whiskey? I think this is the largest schism that is there in the country and is represented in the way the whole system functions. I want to make a correction. I have not been a member of the NSC. I was just a member of one of the committees. Fine, you've been associated with it. You backed it. Fine. And I correct myself. That's not. Yeah. yeah. Sure. But 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 the other point really is that. Constantly, policies have not gone the last mile. UP has not gone the last mile. And no. I think people who are, who are working on the ground, after some time, who work with the system, advise, come to a stage and then say, the last mile is not done. No, it's not about the last, the last mile. mile. No, it's, it's not, it's, need, it's, it's not about the last, my, my, my point is, no, my point is not about, no, no, I'm not, I'm not, Mr. I just want to channelize this, limited time I want to use it. My point is not about MNREGA, last mile, detailed arguments, which, that's not the, my question is that in June 2011, Congress spokesperson Manish Tiwari, who's now the INB minister, said, and, and, and that, that uh, he hit out at the Anna Hazare group, he called them unelectable, and he said, and I quote Manish Tiwari, Vinod Mehta, if this democracy faces its greatest peril from someone, it is from the tyranny of the unelected and the unelectable. Going by that logic, how electable is the NAC? And why has this logic not applied to them? And is Aruna Roy's resignation proof that Manish Tiwari was right, but he did not talk about the unelectable who were running the government through the NAC? Adna, what am I doing on this program? Sir. I mean, I believe that Aruna Roy and the NAC yes. was, a, was a force for good and is a force for good. For good? And you just have to look at the... Oh, absolutely. It's been a force for good. And this dual power center that you talk about... Yes. It had to exist because the Congress party is center-left. The government is full of free market capitalists. So that's it. And therefore, this is a nice balance between the two. Now, you just look at the record of the NAC. What has it given you? It has given you the biggest landmark legislation in the last 20, uh, 25, 30 years, which is the Right to Information Act. It has given you the Right to Education Act. It has given you Narega, 
with all its faults which has worked and most of all as far as the party is concerned it gave them a thumping victory in 2009 with 200 no who cares if the congress party no it's not about the victory of a political the... party but it's I... not no, you are you are narrowing the no focus of the debate mr mr no i can no one second, one second. i i have i mr mr mehta i one can't find fault with the ideological moorings of those uh, in the nsc or the fact that they have a right to present their views in the giving, process of law making the fact of the matter is you the fact of I, the matter is an elected government of I india elected by the people elected by the people as to count out to the nsc you remember it is swami wants NSC to rebut you swami swami, swami wants to rebut you no no look which there is, is there, led there by is. sonia gandhi look Sw swami swami no. is rebutting vinod mehta the, the issue is I, not I, whether I, you think it, the nsc people are if, nice if people or uh, or bad people as you say the question he's is he's saying he's vinod mehta is saying good or bad no no that is not the that is not the issue we are debating here i would disagree i would disagree partially with him i am saying look at the record okay yes yes i'm looking at the record only after i i mean i agree right to right to information very good right to education is achieve nothing yeah. the uh, the the food thing is a very is just a bad idea uh, so i have mixed feelings on the nsc but i'm not going into the merits of it should you have a state of affairs where the pers the government in charge should be making decisions or there is some clique called 10 janpat sometimes advised by something called nsc sometimes advised by ahmed patel sometimes advised by other people outside what you call the normal democratic accountability what should be the right it's a structure they it is a structure it is a wrong it, it is to my mind it's a, a it's faulty a structure. it is a faulty structure well, it's nsc arora roy took advantage of that fault to push their ideology okay. i don't blame them i mean everybody is entitled to push their thing uh, wait, but wait. in terms of democratic structure wait, wait. to my mind that lacked that that lack probability 13, 13 minutes into this debate nirmala sitaraman and kamal farooqi have not come in yeah. therefore i am only allowing a small rebut before i go to the political panelists please yes virod mehta only a small rebut because because you are at loggerheads with your old friend swaminathan ayer on this one you know what what is, what is this democratic structure has the nac imposed any kind of policy on of course government? nac is an advisory one minute please please now let me answer nac is an advisory body on legislation no. and social welfare schemes no. it advises no sir then the ball is given to the into the court of the government no sir the legislation is not passed by aruna roy sir legislation is not so no 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 sir no sir i i i i beg i beg i beg to disagree i beg to disagree and 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 uh, with with someone of your seniority i will not disagree without fact i take an example as i go to nirmala sitaraman and kamal farooqi with vinod mehta sir small point to vinod may i just small point to vinod small point to vinod it is not whether the nac on paper was an advisory council it is the nsc which so itself yeah. as a policy making body yeah, yeah. and i think that's what the, all the difference is all about yeah. that it so it's a perception self it's a suggest policy the NSC no 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 suggest how it was located the, in the political the, policy no, no, is translated okay be, ma, kamal farooqi kamal farooqi legislation by kamal the kamal farooqi kamal farooqi is you know uh, uh, what is swaminathan swaminathan ayer said at the start aruna roy has become a megalomaniac No, I mean. No, no, I never. Okay, I, I a, wouldn't there, put there words a, in your. You want to take those words okay. back? You can no, write. Okay. Now. There's a touch of megalomania. There's a touch. Okay, yeah. you sub made it slightly yes, more subtle. Definitely. But the boot point is this: that the feeling is that the NAC have got spoiled with the amount yeah. of attention yes. and the unelected power that they got yes. directly from Ten Janpath. Kamal Farooq. No, I don't agree with what Mr. Swaminathan has said. I absolutely don't agree with him because he has talked about NSC, has talked about certain personalities and what not. In a in a political system, all these things are very very important. And I totally agree with Vinod Bhai. In fact, NSC is only a an advisory board. It's, it's not it's only not. an advisory board. Much more. And, and it is no, it is in fact not. a pre-legislative pre-legislative uh, uh, kind of thing. It has nothing. Uh, it has got no powers. ultimately whatever good work it, it was working in the social sector it was referring it to the government no sir no sir like no. we have already said about rti and all other things no But sir it, it it is the response it is the responsibility of any political party to look into its no, it best and implement it they had they had committed certain things and they have created this but they, this does not have any no, it's, it's a, authority no it's it's a what's it was so nirmala sitaraman you buy that that is only an advisory body It's only been another advisory yes. body. Nirmala Sitaraman, let me get her in. She hasn't spoken yet. Yes. I just don't <coughs> buy that. 
and I think if you allow me, there are a few points that I like to make. It is a completely a political issue. There is no way in which you can look at it academically or otherwise. It was part of the power sharing uh, formula which uh, the Congress and uh, UPA thought they were coming up with a very imaginative way of running the country, which has been complete disaster since the beginning. It, it, it confined uh, the NI, NAC, kept the entire uh, policy and advisory kind of role strictly within itself mm. with hand-picked, hand-chosen people and there was no sense of accountability at all. And the fantastic examples of various different bills and uh, you know, suggestions made for the legislature are going without an understanding of how bills are drafted in the uh, you know, ministries with the permanent executive looking at various different feasibility, financial accountability and so on. So, to have fancy, uh, uh, wonderful ideas of social welfare drafted there and then be sent to the government and the various ministries spend time over it after that to see how it can be tailor-made after it is already designed, cut and stitched by the NAC to accommodate it into the you know, parliamentary democratic setup where everything else is you know, uh, kept within normally. What is wrong with well social the, welfare you know, programs? And and what, and Nirmila, what is wrong with social welfare programs? Let me just finish off. Let me just finish off. Finally, the important role that they thought they would play was to play the opposition and also play the ruling party through the NAC and therefore had, had it both ways. It cannot work that way. In I fact, very many. I'll take the simple example. One last thing. One, one last thing. The simple example of the food security bill, which has toed and froed in the sense it went from the NAC to the ministry, back to the NAC at least three times. A lot of time has been wasted even on those things which were promised within the first hundred days. No, there are I think the exclusively keeping the advisors, hand-picked advisors to tell what the government should do also has exposed that there is a complete difference of opinion between the government and the party for no, which the Congress party has to say the, as to why the delays have happened. I want to, happened, I, I just... Because of the way in which... No, no, I, I, I see, first of all, Vinod Mehta, you know, you divide, you say NSC is good. I don't know who is bad. Is government bad? Is opposition bad? Is Tenjan no, no. good? It, it, is Eleven Ashok Rao bad? Saying, you know, it's a, it's a, very, it's a wonderful. I'm, it's a, I'm no, saying no, it's no, a force no, for good. No, no, it's a. Po I'm saying it's a force for good. What is good? It's a, it's a governor. My question is, please show me. But I'm saying, no, no, please that show me. Up, no, no, please after. show me. Please show me. I'm asking you one thing. Adna, no, no. Adna, yes, please. Please Just show me. Please show me Vinod Mehta. Show me Vinod Mehta or Kamal Faruqi. My open challenge to both of you on the news hour tonight is this. Or to Gagan Sethi. Show me where in the constitution of India there is scope for something which is called, what does Arun Rai say, a pre-legislative body. Legislative or pre-legislative is the exclusive domain of the government. What Chita, do NGO, no, what is pre-legislative? No, what, what is pre NGO, What are you talking about? What, 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 what is pre-legislative? What are you talking about? Legislation what, does what, not what come does from NGO the sky. Do? Ultimately, it, it, is the, it is the social what, what, network which brings up the whole thing. Whether it is a Lokpal bill or any other bill, it no, 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 where is this guy? No, no, Ultimately, one second. There has to be a sir, system. Sir, what? please, Adna, please, please. What does an NGO Adna? do? No. NGO acts as a pressure group. No, no, one second, one second, one second. Yes. The, one, one sec, all through, one second, please, just for me. A I, a my question is. A pressure group. No, pressure group is fine. I don't know where is the scope for a pre legislative body. There is nothing called a pre-legislative body no, if it's no. a new process which has begun. The question they, is. They are consult because they, they are. Who they are they are accountable to? Legislation because there are experts. No, no. In June 2011, what, in, in the same arguments, you know, no, Ch Chidambaram no, said. No, Chidambaram no, said in 2011. No. Chidambaram said in 2011, I don't support elected representatives yielding their obligations and responsibilities to civil society representatives. In the context of the BJP firing of Anna Hazare's shoulder. And he said, let us remember the foundation of this country is parliamentary democracy. The NAC's website claims it is to provide support for the government in its legislative business. It has arrogated itself that power. And there is a confusion over it, without a doubt. There are many reasons that you do that job. Indian democracy, I want to ask you. What has NAC done till today which has made Indian democracy weaker? Sir, I, I want to ask you and I'll ask that to Swapan Das Gupta. Stronger. No, 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 no. Can, I, can I come in here for a minute, Arnob? Okay, quickly, Nirmala Sitaraman, yes. 
even if a pre-consultative process, pre-legislative consultative process is required, why should it be confined only to those who are in the NAC and those who are handpicked by Mrs. Sonia Gandhi? Let it be in the public domain. Let Good everybody point. participate in. Good point. And why should Good it be point. confined? Ne Kamal Faruqi. Kamal Faruqi response. Kamal Faruqi. Yeah. The, abs absolutely. Uh, what she is saying, in fact, philosophically, te uh, technically, it is right. But as far as NAC is concerned or any other organization is concerned, all these things are coming from outside. Not and at all. The, yes. And I, no, no, I, I correct you here. As, because I have also worked with uh, NAC in little bit. All those things, whatever we were discussing over there, they were coming in the public domain, we were throwing it in the public, and a lot of things were coming out. I, I had worked in association with NAC on communal violence bill and lots of deliberations have come in and ultimately we gave certain suggestion now the problem is this is what Congress creates the confusion late, this Congress is what creates the confusion the take up all this the is what creates the confusion kamal faruk i'll give you one example what no i'll give confusion? you one example this is what creates in yes. april 2012 one minute so just i'll take 30 seconds in this question i go to swapan das gupta all of you are trying to make it out to be that the nsc is a very professional body which simply makes recommendations and has no further ambitions i am making a point tonight that the nsc oh was my getting God. Not at that all. the nsc was getting very Nobody ambitious and aruna roy it was power structure it was part of the power structure it, 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 it was it was part of the power structure yes it had more it had more authority in the eyes of many people including apparently manish shankar ayer than the government that's the point. And therefore, what happens is that in April 2012, Swapan Das Gupta, it was reported that then Tribal Minister, I think his name was Kantilal Bhuria, he rejected suggestions by the NAC for amending the Forest Rights Act. Now, KC Dio assumed charge of the ministry. He went away. Sonia Gandhi wrote to him asking him to reconsider the suggestions and all the suggestions were incorporated and sent to the cabinet for approval. What more proof do we need of the clout that the NAC had? Yes, Mr. Das Gupta. I think it's quite clear, and I think Vinod should. I think it, it, it's quite clear, and it's a very revealing example you've given. And I think it's very quite clear, and I think Vinod should ask, answer this. If it is indeed a merely consultative body for the good, yeah. as he claims, why should it take credit for legislative achievements like the Right to Information Act? Why should it take credit for things like uh, the M uh, Narega? In those are the things of a legislature. So there is obviously a mistake. I don't understand no, the point. What is he complaining very, very about? Simple. No, yeah, are you you under you are willfully not understanding it. Either you are an advisory body or you are a you are actually a law making body. Precisely. If you are you're taking credit for doing these as a force for the good, you can't have it both ways. But you seem to want to have it both ways. Because but you what seem is to wrong? think that what is wrong? Just like another unelected body like the Planning Commission, you are a pla parallel Planning Commission precisely. in charge of social legislation. That is precisely what you have decided exactly. that you are going while to being, While being complete. Therefore, when someone I says I, no, I, that's, not, that's, not, that's, that's not on. One sec, Kamal Faruqi is taking you on. Swapan Das Gupta, Swapan Das Gupta, Kamal Faruqi is contradicting you. Kamal Faruqi, one sec, Kamal Faruqi to Swapan Das Gupta. Planning Commission. Command, planning Commission is a government body. Well, NSC is not the government body. It is only a consultative committee. You cannot compare the planning, planning commission to with NSC. Mr. I think you, has no constitutional absolutely. sanction. Just remember that. No, but constitution does not mention the planning that. commission. I, it was I, also set up in a similar way. But it, by an no, executive order, just as the NAC was the planning commission, so not at all. Just, just so why, because it's got a longer history, no, no, that doesn't make it any I, A second proof, proof number two. Proof number two, I'm going to go by examples in the course of the seated debate. The argument being put by some, including the very respected Vinod Mehta, is that this is a body for the good. The argument being put by Gagan Sethi and Kamal Faruqi. Force for good. Force, force for good. Force for good. Don't point at me when you say that. Otherwise, I'll think you think you're saying I'm a force for the bad. The question is this, uh, Vinod Mehta. The argument no, you made, you the are, argument you, you made will not hold. Very good. Now, I'll give another example which will demolish that argument. I remember. Now, you say it's a recommendatory body. Swaminathan Nair tell me this. A recommendatory body should give its recommendations and then keep quiet. Right? Now, in this case, I remember an experts group chaired by none other than the chief of the Prime Minister's Economic Advisory Council. C. Rangarajan was set up by the Prime Minister to examine separately the recommendations of the NAC on the National Food Bill in 2011. Is that kowtowing or not? Is that kowtowing or not? No. Which advisory body would get that kind of attention? The, the plain and simple fact is that, you know, let's not get into the semantics of it. It was seen that 
it was seen that Sonia Gandhi believes that the NAC is important, that it will help improve the popularity of the Congress party and get it re-elected. Okay. I think what was really saying that in the last one and a half years... You think they were using... Oh, that's yes, right. You, you think, you think Aruna Roy and all were being used by, politically by, by Sonia, the... Yes. In the last one and a half years, when the prospects began to crumble, they have decided, you know, this is not the horse that's going to take me past the winning that's line. That's very direct. We yeah. now have to go to choose some other particular path. Now, all this time, the NAC seemed to think that it was driving the... Suddenly, it finds it's no longer in the driver's seat. Uh, for Aruna Roy to say right now, you know, the government is too growth-oriented. Excuse me, growth has collapsed. It is just the other way around. So, so in other words, they, they say that carrying on on whatever we have been doing, we are going to lose the election. We have to rescue the economy. We have to get growth growing again. We are, at all costs, we must avoid a credit downgrade. Because Understood. if there's a credit downgrade, inflation will go to 15%. Yeah. So these were seen to be the most important issues. When these were seen to be the most important issues, then whatever the NSC... So and the NSC had to say, it is not that it has so, disappeared. So, so, no, no, it so, not disappeared. So, so, so a group, but there are other issues. No, so a group with an unclear right. but very powerful mandate has ceased oh, to no, be. With, with Arna, ambitions which, will, Arna, which ambitions could, could drive the country bankrupt. Vinod Mehta, a, a force for good is good. Arna, trying, trying to feed 33% trying to feed of this population which goes on one square meal is a day. Is there something bad? Okay, fine. Okay, counter question. Counter question. Uh, Nirvana Sitaraman, you respond to that. Amazing. When uh, they come up with a food bill, they were not even able to convince the planning commission or the government to say, whoa, who exactly is That's poor in this country? Issue. So to come up with a fantastic bill is very well. But when you have not even determined who are your uh, poor of the poor, poorest of the poor, it very clearly shows they wanted all these, you know, very fancy, uh, romanticized ideas of poverty to be brought in and take the claim for, you know, we are the ones who are shedding tears and working for the poor. At the same time, being impractical, uh, impractical about how it is going to be implemented. So this dichotomy conveniently suited them as long as it worked. Now that they are seeing it is not getting anywhere, they, you, you see everybody taking their own route and the argument that we have been putting <laughs> that they have remained out of being accountable is now established. Well, they I just wanted to be away, do everything and not be accountable. Where well, government has to have people who are accountable for decisions that they take. Well, certainly they need to, but I don't know if this is the end of it. Is this the end of it, Swapan Das Gupta? Is this the end of it? Or will... Well, you see, when a regime starts unraveling, parts of the periphery start deserting. And you know, in India, we have the larger Darbar culture. And what we are seeing is that the gradual disintegration of, the, of, of the, those elements who are on the sidelines, but who imagine that they were in, in the, at the center of power. The NAC had this visionary idea that they were going to turn India into some sort of a Sweden, into some sort of a Scandinavian paradise. <laughs> Instead, some of their policies may have ended up by turning India into a replica of Burkina Faso. Well, there were strong I words there. I don't lament its disintegration. I, lam I don't lament the its disintegration. The I don't lament the fact. Look at that the record, says Vinod Mehta. Which record, Vinod Mehta? Which yes, record? It's a stuck record. It's a, at, it's a at, stuck record. It's a stuck record. Well, stuck well, record, says Swapan Das Gupta. Well, that's if you. Are not. Well, if you're well, talking about well, if you record, don't record, want to see it, what can I do? But. But the most important no, no, social legislation record, in the last, since Indian independence I, I think has you, been taken because the NAC no, advised... Okay, three minutes. Yeah. Three minutes. Look at the... Look, look, Gagan Sethi, yes, Gagan Sethi and then Swaminath Iyer to comment on the record. Yes. Forgetting getting one fact that Ar Aruna Roy came into the NAC because she fought on the ground on issues of corruption. Then I, and she had some understanding of grassroots reality. I think the whole debate was that there are people who represent some thoughts, who are invited to advise, then if their advice is taken up by the no, government, but why some thought, so be it. Why we some are, thought? Was, why why does the same logic not, not apply so to Arvind Kejriwal when he was not in politics? 
when when did did Kapil Sibal yeah, not say so if the Lokpal were... is no no Kapil Sibal said if the Lokpal is not answerable to constitutional bodies can we term it constitutional? So going by the same argument was the I NSC constitutional? So, we, who I is the NSC accountable to? I I think we are giving. Who is no? These are, are these are fundamental issues, Gagan Sethi. The NSC than it, it actually has. No, no, but of course it had great I power. No, no, let's not undermine that. Last word to Swaminathan here. I'll simply say this: individual members of the National Advisory Council are eminent people who have done a lot of. Yes, yes. I have plenty of respect for them, even Mehta. though I disagree Force strongly good argument. with some of their ideas. Yeah. I'm merely saying that in the current context, if you asked, going down whichever path, suppose you push the food security bill or the right to education, yeah. are you going to get re-elected on this basis? Yeah. It became clear that the economy is crumbling in various ways, if you think that just by saying, I'm going to have a food security bill. Yeah. And it's going to be it's uh, definitely uh, not going to get you re-elected. Why, why do you need a so many state governments are supplying rice or wheat cheaper than this food security bill is going to supply? Well, I mean, in those particular cases, you are only subsidizing those state governments, which will then use well, the, the money the, for the, other the, purposes. The, the whole Therefore, the idea that this is going to win the election was wrong. Well, no, meanwhile, other, the other things were crumbling. So I think it was very necessary for a change of course. The fact that you have a change of course does not mean sure. that anything the NAC did in the past was irrelevant. No, no, no. no. Right to Information Act, I will always say, was a very major achievement. Yeah, but the At the same time, there are things more important. And when Aruna Roy, I am very disappointed to say, you know, that she thinks that she is the one who is solving poverty and that growth has nothing to do with the solving of poverty, then I'm afraid her understanding of what is removing poverty is so faulty, I don't think she has the solution. Well, the, I think the view that only some people are right if they are associated with the NSC and everybody else is wrong. Can I just come up with Aruna a proof? Gentlemen, I'm totally out of time. Try to demonize her. No, 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 no. Nay, or no. Demonizing Aruna Roy is not, I want Aruna to Roy up. is not the NSC. Arnab, you, you're you're demonizing her. She disagrees. No, no, I, just, I, just, sorry, sorry. I, I have a considerable I respect for what she achieved with the right to information. Gen gentlemen, gentlemen, the ladies and gentlemen, ladies, ladies and yes, Nirmala. Can I just come in? Yes, Nirmala. There are just specific points that I want to tell you. If you're talking about the record and the performance of NAC, take the example, topmost example. What kind of a bill was this communal, uh, you know? Uh, ah, bill? there you see. Uh, now that's only that another debate. Bill. It is dividing the society. That's going Don't, to be. Uh, uh, that is one proof. Second proof. The second proof here: right to information act. If they want to claim okay. credit for it, let's also ask them the question as to why it is being undermined by the prime minister's own. I will have another debate on several questions about uh, Sonia Gandhi ji. Her I case. will. They are not willing to give answers. I will have, I will have another debate. An I will have another debate on the communal violence bill because it appears the BJP's greatest problem is with the communal violence bill more than anything else that the NAC has been recommending. I will call you again for that and so I will call Kamal Faruqi as well. Thank you very much. Only for want of time tonight. But is Aruna Roy being demonized by Swaminathan Iyer? I leave that to the judgment of our viewers. Back in a few minutes.